For a brief moment there, I thought we were going to have a Zone Kitty welcoming us, but instead you get the Sylvian Mimikyu once more. Good kitten internet, and welcome back to Let's Play Wild Arms. <sighs> so the last thing that happened is that we gained quite a few more abilities for Maribel. And also looks like we leveled up, was that time something like that? Um... So yeah, we need to sort this. I meant to do that before starting the recording. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. One moment. And unpaused. Um, by the way, I'm trying out my new lighting setup. You might be able to see the... Let's see. There you go. Now you can see the reflection in my glasses. I'll go ahead and take off my glasses. I am having a little bit of focus problems today, so maybe I should be wearing them, but that's okay. I don't want to have, constantly have the ring light reflecting into the camera. Anyway, so let's take a look at what we have. So, Skill Drain and Life Drain are the ones that Mary will start with. Skill Drain is what we were using entirely in that last adventure, adventure episode in order to be able to grab Mary Vell's red skills. Wild Card's just a cast something random. Wild Card would probably be better if I intentionally made sure I only grabbed certain abilities, but I didn't. So, eh. We have Life Drain, does what it says on the tin. Power Seal, um, this is an ability to inflict a seal status effect, or silence in most games case. We have our standard water element, non-element, I'm gonna put an element first. Non-elemental, water elemental, fire elemental, lightning elemental, darkness elemental, ice elemental. We don't have all of the elements, which is interesting to me. Um, come to think of it, hmm, one moment. And back. Um, yeah, we're actually missing several abilities still. I think they're either ones that I couldn't find or they're in areas that we haven't gone to yet, but that's okay. Um, just wanted to quickly go over what I've got. Uh, Anti-Magic, which blocks manta uh, magic for the entire battlefield. Canceler, which cancels somebody's actions. We actually got that used on us. So if we can get Marivelle up super fast, she can actually stop any random enemy from doing anything, which is... Potentially really handy, actually. Status lock is going to be key, though, and we're going to need to level up Marivelle to level 30 in order to be able to use this more effectively. And, which is silly, because we also need to do that. The reason why I need status lock is so I can level up Marivelle. And I need to level up Marivelle to be able to use status lock. Normally, she's significantly higher level. In this case, she's not. So I'm going to need to figure out how to grind. I'm probably going to progress plot slightly more in this video. Just so I can get some more experience from Marivel. Uh, we've got Twister. So we've got the uh, the second line of elemental stuff. Go and put non-elemental up front. Dropping the parry value of a target to zero. That's really dumb. Maybe it works on bosses. Then it might be not as dumb. Come to think of it, I don't know of too many bosses that you can't hit, so it's still dumb. Ergphaser is an extremely powerful now I'm on till attack, and Galacrazy just makes you lose money and cost and requires 99 force points because that makes sense. All right, so we should probably talk about what I want the final battlefield battle group to look like because we're at the point of the game where I'm going to start using it and. This is really hard for me. So, here, let me show you why it's so hard. Loka and Tim are our two healers, and neither Brad, Ashley, nor Cannon can heal anyone in the game. And I had said that I specifically want to use Cannon and Maryville, because they're characters that I hardly ever use. If I wanted to go with the third least used character for me, it would actually be Brad. That leaves me no healers. Lilka is the only one who can kill enemies, like an area of effect of enemies, on round one right now. Eight more levels and Tim will be able to do it. I think I am going to go... Oops, I'm not in formation. I think I'm going to go like this for the time being. Until I level up slightly more, which is going to happen. Uh, it's pretty much inevitable, in fact. I'll go like this for now. Yeah, 
Unfortunately, Tim's the only one who can area attack heal, but I can swap places pretty much any time in the game. We'll go like that for now. Okay, we have a bunch of side quests that we can do at this point. But, like I said, I'm thinking about progressing plot slightly more. I don't know. You know what? It's side quest time. I'm trying to think of all the side quests because I'm no longer looking at a guide or anything. Don't you worry. Marina will calm down soon. After all, you and Marina always make up right after you argue, right? Wondering if her lines for Ashley just haven't been updated. I mean, Marina's not here anymore, right? Yeah, Marina's on the ship. We're going on to the roof. We haven't been on the roof in a while, right? Boop. There's still a kitty up here or somebody trying to patch the roof or anything because kitty no no oh sad oh well all right we need to... So we have Maryville now, and we can use the Electil for certain things. Uh, let me pop open a map. That's going to help me. Actually, wait. Speaking of, I think I can get an upgrade to my map right now. Let's find out if I can. I didn't think the item seller was out here, but okay. Maybe it's because they're permanently parked now. And I guess that's a mild spoiler. They're not moving anymore. Is it set? No, it's third floor, not second floor. Oh, well. it's been a while since we've gotten through here. Let's see if there's anybody that's saying anything new. See, that's telling you, hey, look, you should probably go to Palace Village. We can actually use this to heal now. I just realized something. This place doesn't really need both Momo and me. I recommend this, after all. Hypodermic delivery is good, but rectal delivery is better. You just got given a suppository. Okay... In my humble opinion, there's no one in all of Philgaia who's capable of defeating you. Uh, no. Ashley, anybody in Philgaia probably- well, it's kind of a little better. Hey, dude! I saw Marina crying. Did something happen to her? Let's go on the other side. Oh, hello, Ashley. I'm sorry for what I said. Guess I wasn't ready to accept you. I didn't have the courage. I'm sorry. Hello, everyone. Thank you for so much for coming to help us. It's because of you that Ashley and I have been able to get this far. Thought the one of the triggers was around here. Oh, my brother's been brooding about something lately. I would do anything to help my brother, even if it meant giving up my own life. That's creepy. Maybe you shouldn't be so willing to give up your own life for things. Just saying, you have a lot to live for. 
Empty broom. I swear these rooms are pretty much always empty. Because they're only used for plot purposes and nothing else. It's like we see Ashley in one from time to time. Why is there a skull there? I don't think I ever noticed the skull. Huh. Picture of Lucid. Okay. I'm just really curious to see what the other ones are. Random mountains. Random skies. I'm assuming this is probably Loka's room. A nothing. Plamps. And a kitty! Hi, kitty cat. Well, now that it's landed, can I go out here again? I would need to go down the floor, but it looks like I can. Sun Kitty, what's wrong? You come over here and say hi. Mira? You wanna say hi to people? See, is this area open? You can come up on camera, kitty cat. I swear. It's okay. No. Ah, yes. Famous for its wheat. That's why you can't get there. I heard Sir Valeria was studying an ancient, dangerous, prohibited spell. It was a prohibited spell for summoning a strange creature from the spirit world. Interesting. Anyway, I'm going to leave. This was not the side quest trigger I thought it was. I think I'm actually going to have to look them up. I did not mean to do that. Yeah, I think I'm actually going to have to look up where the side quests start at, because I don't remember anymore. This is the point of the game that I've only played through, like, one other time. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and exit the chateau. Oh, wait, I know a few areas that we need to go to. That's right, I was going to load up the freaking map. What am I doing? Map. There we go. Let's get out of this joint and keep going. So my um, setup's a little different from before. Like, for instance, I actually have a ring light now. And my other monitor's over here. That way. So I'm actually looking at the other monitor when I'm looking like this. I'm looking at you all here. I'm looking at the game down here. Hopefully this doesn't look too off-putting compared to this. I'm trying to figure out the best way of arranging this. Hmm. All right, where am I at there? That means that I am at... Uh, this is Raypoint Muse. Okay. I don't want to go to Raypoint Muse. I want to go to... Shining Garden is 6 on the map. Where is 6? Six? 6 is the island middle of nowhere. Okay. It's not this island. I thought it might be actually, but no, it's here. Isn't Shining Garden the one of the spots that I'm thinking of? No, it's not. This isn't the one I was thinking of. This was Rigged to Bright, if I remember right. Shining Garden's not the one I'm thinking of. Which is it? I know that I need to go back to a couple of dungeons now that I have Marivel. I just can't remember which ones. Oh yeah, what's over here? What are you? Are 
Waypoint Geo. Okay. That's where Plot is. We must escape Plot. Plot is the devil. Really? Thunderlion Cage. This is one of the spots that we needed to come back to, right? Yes. Notice the symbol directly in front of us? Zap. If you're wondering why that wasn't symmetrical, that's why. Mecha Boost! Bloody Cape. So, what does the Mecha Boost do, you might ask? Ups the attack power of Pole and Pot. That is the Japanese name for um, Marvel's weapon. Before was 236, now is 256. See, she doesn't actually get equipment upgrades, she finds mecha boosts instead. Also, that's a way better cape for her. Like, that actually. Doesn't that put her defense. Yeah, no, that means that her defense is about the same as Lilka's, and she's half the level ish. Which good. We, the sealed Crimson Nobles, or the Crimson Nobles, are sealed away forever in a ferocious eight bodied monster. The strong power tearing Fulgaia apart sleeps even now in the depths of the sealed pillar. Our questioning and your own desire to fight will reawaken the sleeping power. Anyway, that's all I needed to come for, for here. I love how she runs. It's the most awesome thing. But yeah, Hob and Knob are permanent equipment for her. She never gets to unequip them. All right, next up, it's, we had the Thunder Lion Cage. Do, 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 do. That's 23. I need the other one that sounds very similar to Thunder Lion Cage. Wind Tiger Den, 34. 34 is located where on this stupid map? All the way up north, okay. That's over in Seal's region, almost. Wasn't there something in Sleheim that I can do now? Yeah, it's there. Wind Tiger's Den. What was in the Tiger's Den? Do 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 do. I might be misremembering. Hold on a moment. Sun Kitty just ran into a wall. Okay. Do -do -do -do. Yeah, I might need to progress plot to do a lot of these random things. Yeah, this is the place that has the puzzles for explosions. I don't think there's anything in here for me. But I also don't entirely remember. Oh, it's been such a long time. You know what? Let's actually do one of the ray points. We're close to ray point. Was that ray point geo? Let's actually do it. But
You can see the trick that's going on. They're timed. We're sticking with Marifel primarily just because she looks so much cooler while running. Ooh. That's a good chest. Earthquake! The earthquake is for use with Brad. By pressing the square button, an earthquake will erupt in the room, shocking the foundation. It will destroy all at once every wooden box and cracked wall in the room. I don't really remember this tool. Oh, what are you? Alligate? Alligate tiger? A Liga Tiger and a Giga Poison. I need to look up every one of these. Uh, I'm going to go in alphabetical order on the monster list. Uh, let's see. You have a red skill. Okay. You're also weak against air. Do I already have the red skill? No. Okay. So I'm going to be draining him with Maribel. Got it. Um, what about the was Giga Poison? Giga Poison has Jack Squat. Also weak against air. Okay. So you're getting Vortexed. Maribel is going to drain Alligatiger. Cannon is going to... Cannon needs. <sighs> Hold on a moment. I forgot to actually look to see if there's anything I can pickpocket from the Alika Tiger. Uh, not really. Okay. So I am just going to Gridiev and defend for Cannon. Let's change the party order a bit. Where it's actually speed order. That would be nice. Okay. You're defending. You're going to Vortex. You're going to Skill Drain. Hi, Zone. Would you like to join me on my lap? There's a Zone Key. Zone Key. You can actually see how orange he is with this new lighting. He's very orange, aren't you, Zone? Give me your powers. Mastered Rock Gazer. Cool. That must be the ones that I'm missing, actually, now that I think about it, because I also don't have the air one. Why did I do that? I don't know, but I did it. A port. Drop a bucket on your head. Yeah, that's not going to do enough damage. Pfft. That's going to kill it for sure. Bonk. I can't go through here right now, can I? And this is where I came in? No. Oops. Really me. Really, game? <sighs> Physics do not work this way. Yeah. 
Okay, there is a chest on this floor. You notice that I haven't really used um, Ashley's abilities all that much? It's because they're not needed. In my mind, at least. Revive fruit. Delicious. Oh yeah, it just dawned on me. Give her the best chance of actually having a halfway decent spell casting stat. Weather vane's actually fine in her arms. Hey, can you guess whose dungeon this is? Give you a hint, it's the person who keeps getting stuff. Satellite beam attack. It was going to bother me if I didn't get the last one of those. That somehow didn't work. Should have blown up. Oh, I see the puzzle now. even come back in? Is that the trick to reset? Yes. Mm. Hold on, I need to check those notifications. Just my vet saying that my sleepy boy here needs a check up even though he just had one. Okay. So, what we need to do is do that. <sighs> Damn it. It's timed. Seriously, two text messages and two emails for the exact same thing. There. That's all I was trying to do, game. Ooh, loot. War respite? Is it respite or respite in this case? Four of them? Oof. Guess I'm going to be fighting something with a lot of status effects coming up. Okay. This lets me go down here for some reason. Usually that means that there's something here. Not that I can see what in the world it is, but I'm guessing I'm going to make all of those things fall. Guess. It's not the ability I wanted to use. That is. This is a dumb dungeon. I really don't remember anything about it, though. Ooh, it lives through Gat 1. Boop. 
Puka, can you grab? Thank you. Cromwell. Oliver Cromwell? Not, don't think that's supposed to be the reference, but sure. Okay, this is another one of those cases where I need to figure out height. This one's actually pretty easy. I didn't need to cancel that, but that's okay. Is there anything else in here? Nope. All right, what type of battle are you? I surprised them. Oh, it's the same two. Wild! Ashley hit 23. But I'm Plot. So, Raypoint's Protector Knight has arrived. You must let me through. Boss time. Half an hour. Okay. Geo Knight! Spriggan Geo Knight. I seem to remember there's something weird about this battle, isn't there? No, there isn't. Okay. It's easy enough. Find? Find. If only Marival actually had the correct ability, but that's okay. Um. You get a melee. You're going to be casting four attacks. Oh, there's a shield. Attack shield first. You're going to four attacks the shield. Maravel, you're going to be the one dedicated to use the lucky card this time. Assuming you survive. I think Maravel can survive an attack. We'll find out. Did that do zero? And it now reflects spells. The shield absorbs all elements. Cool. Welp. And now reflection. Bye, Zenkini. I liked you as a shoulder kitty, though. Okay. New plan. Not using that. Let's equip a coin purse. Shield has unknown amount of hit points. Cool. Honestly? Magic's not useful here, so let's stop using it. Oh yeah, Sky Eye doesn't do much damage right now because we never upgraded it. Okay, Marin B, I need to put Marivel elsewhere. Maybe it's time for me to actually use Ashley. And given how low level she is, she actually do, does a decent amount of damage. But yeah. Let's go with Ashley. Mm. This is a weird combat party. Let's actually have things equipped properly. That would help. Helping. Oh.
My barrier, piece of crap. <sighs> really, Cannon's the one that's going to carry this entire thing, isn't she? Let's get your force points up. That makes sense. Or mirror coat, whatever. As soon as I can take out that shield, everything will be fine. I do actually have Ashley with the correct weapon, right? Yes, okay. He has worst luck. That does not help things. No shields allowed. Ashley has three hit points! Oh. Well, we can move people around now. Oh crap. Oh! Nice! It's time to actually use Ashley's ability for once. Which means I'm gonna move Brad back, bring out Tim. Because Tim can first aid. Let's borrow Maraville's secret sign. Get as much of a first aid as possible. Uh, along with Guardian. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cannon. Now is a good time for you to equip Windring. Ashley, you are now equipping the coin purse. Stayed. Access. We're actually using it for once. That was a thousand. That's not too bad. That's got hurt. That's fine. Tim probably has the best defense out of those three. Still hurts. Yes. His battle music is every time he comes up. I don't know if that's actually more damage or not. We'll find out. Wind. 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 So everybody says. That's actually less damage. Guy crash. Well, I'm pretty sure Ashley's dead. Yep. Ah, crap, it's reflecting. Well, that went poorly. <laughs> um, yeah, we need Lilka out here. We're going to take a couple of turns to heal up because I want everybody to actually have, you know, a way of surviving. Just me. And get XP. Okay. Five. Ashley. Look, can survive that. Ashley. We're throwing Tim out. Don't want to accidentally kill Tim. You're going to defend. Lilka, you're going to... I can't I revive. I guess regular revived him. And Tim's dead again. 
know what? Fine. Tim, you're wearing the Earth Ring. Now you're not going to die immediately. Big Berry, Lilka. Lilka, you're going to high revive, Tim. Uh, Cannon might be dead. Yeah. I revive cannon. Tim, how about you mega berry Lilka? Are you kidding me? At least in this, um, it doesn't actually use up the item if you don't no longer have a valid target. <sighs> Fine. I'll use a freaking full revive. Tired of dealing with you. I love the swirly eyes on Lilka when she's knocked out. Ken can take that. Right. I still have the Earth Ring equipped. That that was smart of me. Just equip your dang mittens already. Or no, you need a uh, book. 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 Maybe I should actually treat this battle seriously. No, just a thought. I was trying to be all cute and, you know, cute does not work. I think it's down now. Really, Maryville's actually the person that I need, isn't she? Oh well. First aid. Make sure everybody's at full before I accidentally hit myself with this. Okay, he does still have reflection. That's up. That stinks. I don't have any way of dispelling. Could summon. Yeah, why not? Oh, you're dead already. So I could have pickpocketed a Mega Berry. Didn't really feel like it. Ashley finally hit level 25. Same with Marifel. Dead Heat acquired. Spriggan Geonite. Achievement unlocked. Sure. I can buy them, so I don't really care about using them up anymore. And equip your hat. Dead Heat. Best bandana in the game for him. Pretty sure it is, at least. Hmm, gonna have to copy off the saves again soon. Yes, there's more to this dungeon. This dungeon's fairly long, actually. Oh, I could have actually saved these. Um, in fact, I am not going to do that right now. I'm going to go in here. What are you, you? You're another one of those puzzles. That's one way. We're going to go this way. What are you? Does this actually work for this? No. Why would it? Giant fist! The 
Does it actually have to be on the correct height level? It does not. Interesting. And none of these are really that hard to time in my mind. Well, can't do that right now. I don't suppose there's like a hidden passage there. No. Uh, Backtrack. Bum, 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 bum. Not the ability I wanted to use. That is. How long are we recording for at this point? We're at 46 minutes, okay. Probably just the tack. Vortex. Meh. <laughs> Still so confused by those rooms. Okay, there's nothing in there. Or here. This is just going to be me knocking down that wall, then presumably turning around and coming back. I don't like forced, hey, look, you need to go back and redo all of those places things. Would have expected something, but oh well. Now we need to go backtrack through the earthquake room. Really me? Fine. So dumb. Ah, <sighs> so how are you doing? Um, I injured my back yesterday, so I'm not doing so great. I'm doing better, much better today than I was yesterday, at least, but that's not saying much. I injured my back cleaning the my basement, because I still have cats obsessed with pooping down there. I put in a litter box, so I wouldn't have to worry about this anymore. Unfortunately, that means that I now have a litter box in the basement when I've been trying to avoid having one of those for years now. Better for them to poop in the box than poop out of the box, at least. Oh. Uh, my controller just died. <coughs> Must have just ran out of batteries. That is the problem with that style of controller is that I don't know when it's going to run out. And I don't have a long... I do have a longer cord handy. Are you long enough? Yeah, you'll do. 
There we go. There. Just have to lean slightly. Lean this way further. Such a dumb room. No. We're having Maribel join us. Because I want to. There's no reason for it. Wild! Eh, didn't matter. <sighs> Our objective. Hey, Brad, you with the deceptive shadow in, heart, in your heart. Directly to my heart, is that what you mean? Ah, uh, this is a bad translation. I'm pretty sure this is the idea of you have darkness still in your heart. I am the will of power. The spirit Geo. Hey, Brad. If you want to liberate the ray point I control, you gotta tell the truth. The truth? Backstory. So you're saying you can see inside my heart. Lies turn the shadows and... Fall as night, losing the Raypoint's light. Till you reveal your true self to me, the Raypoint won't be released. The truth. I'm still myself. Nothing's changed. And the truth is me, myself, and I. Brad Evans, you are the hero from the past and are now an ARMS member and are our future possibility. But those are facts. Not the truth. Facts and truth. The shadow of lies interrupt the truth's light. When I said that you before, uh, when I said before that unless you reveal your true self, the rape point won't be released. It's not facts, but truth that expels the shadow of lies. The truth releases the rape point. My heart has lies. Yes, I carry the lie that I am me. Brad Evans. So, it was necessary to do this for the liberation and future of Slayheim. For the future of liberated Slayheim, Brad Evans was necessary. So I threw myself out and became another me. That was my promise to him. So, so there are... Drops a bottle. Uh, knocked over a bottle, I mean. Uh, so there are two prevailing fan theories as to what in the world he's talking about here. The first one is the one that's generally accepted by most people, like not deep into the community or anything, which is to say that Brad basically had to invent a new version of himself. He needed to become the face of the Slayheim Liberation Army. He needed to be the person the hero so to speak and that's not the way he was originally but there's a second theory that i find really interesting it's that brad isn't his name if you remember way back and we're going to go back and talk to him after this but if you remember way back billy the person who's sitting in um tabak village the only thing that he was saying was brad there's a fan theory that Billy's name is actually Brad Evans, and Brad is actually Billy. They swap places at the last moment. So that, um... Whatchamacallit, um, they would capture Billy and not the real Brad Evans. Stuff like that. It's an interesting theory, and there's no real basis behind it, as far as I can tell. So you became a hero because of your promise. There was something more important than winning. In the Battle of Liberation, it was to unite the people of Sleheim. That was more important. If we had only won, we wouldn't have become any different from the enemy. 
or sorry, if we had only one, we wouldn't have become any different from the enemy, the Slayheim throne. If only we threw power, if we only threw power around, nothing would change. Why do I keep inverting that? I'm reading it. I am. Um, the Slayheim Liberation Army is a unit that took on the silly ideals I professed. That's why the Liberation Army couldn't lose me. Are you saying that hero isn't a power? Uh, at least there are those who think that way. A hero isn't just power, but a symbol of power. Like the sword magus, peace isn't delivered by the hero. A hero should be a symbol for the people to emulate and create their own peace. A hero isn't bestowed upon anyone, nor is it something to cling to. For the purpose of peace, the people join together to achieve a common goal. I think this is basically where the concept of Brad is actually Billy is coming in. The idea that they wanted to make sure that the Brad Evans was never caught means that the Slay High Liberation Army will never die. That type of situation. Once you grab it with your own hands, real peace will come. That was my hope for the future. But I must ask the false hero. Why are you still a hero? Your battle should be over. I'm not hung up on the fact that I am me. I am he me merely means that my ties to him are the ties to keep fighting. Him in this case is Billy. By being me, his ideals have become a part of me. So again, you could read this both ways of Brad created a false persona to become the hero of the Slayheim Liberation Army. And that false persona started turning true. He started embodying his own ideals. Or you can view it as a more literal sense of he's pretending to be Brad Evans. And eventually he now is Brad Evans. The guys from ARMS don't rely on me to be their hero, but fight with their own power. I am a person from the past, as opposed to the future which must be obtained. Or sorry. Ugh. I am a person from the past, as opposed to the future which must be obtained. I don't rely on myself. I'm fighting together with them for the future, for tomorrow. You want the right point released for you, for the future that you desire. Hmm. Well, very well then. In my presence, I want you to disclose the unchanging eternal truth. I am definitely not the hero of Slayheim but I'll fight to save the people and bring peace to the world. That will never change. I am Brad Evans, and that's the truth. And the other truth is... The other truth? You're standing in our way of... In our way of confronting us is a ruse. You are not an obstacle. You are only a test to bring out our hidden potential. That's the other truth. Never imagined such an interesting answer. You certainly showed me your truth. I know changes or shadows to the truth that you speak of. I'll release the right point for the future you desire. The future that you want. Brad! You're all right, Brad. Look, Brad, see. Brad, the power liberated the ray point. Oh, it's been a while since I've used that accent. My power? But I have the lowest sorcery rating of the entire group. Don't forget about, don't forget about me. Never mind. Gaia's life energy, Geo's mana, has been liberated and is quietly filling up. Geo's mana will awaken future possibilities asleep in Brad. Force boost acquired. The boost is a force skill for use by Brad. The runaway heavy arm will deliver an attack on the enemy three times the normal force. So with boost, it does triple damage on an arm attack. Brad also has an arm that requires 99 force points. You can see where this is going. Anyway, we're done with that. Now let's go... I know we're at an hour. We're going to Tabak Village. Actually, we can teleport there. 
so I can complete the thought when it comes to Billy and Brad being swapped. I didn't read about that fan theory until, well, shortly before I started playing this, actually. Oh, hi, mister. Guess what? Something good happened today. So I'm off to to a good luck spot on the southeastern coast and say, thank you. Good thing that happened. You came here. That's what. Aww. That is actually the side quest that I was thinking of. Let's go say hi to Billy. <laughs> oh, yeah, anyway, oh, I wanted to actually complete the thought with Billy there. So the idea is that that Billy right there is actually Brad Evans. And I don't buy it. Because of the last line that Brad said, the truth is that I am Brad Evans. The truth is, is that he became the embodiment of the hero of Slayheim. He's not a hero anymore. Remember, this game has a central core concept about what is a hero and why are they needed and are they needed. The concepts that Brad was saying fit more in line with the idea of, no, I'm not a hero. I became what I was trying to pretend to be. I am... A person that wanting to say that wants to save the world. That does not make me a hero. That makes me a person who wants to save the world. I'm not going to sacrifice myself for this. I'm going to save the world. Whereas if you take the Brad is really Billy theory, and Billy is actually Brad Evans, that concept goes away. There's no running theme of I mean, our Brad Evans is still the hero of Slayheim. He still did things during that war. This is not a Final Fantasy VII Cloud Zack situation. So I, I don't really buy that theory. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this episode. I did a little bit of plot and a little bit of searching around for things. Hopefully I'll prepare more next time. Um, I realized at the last moment that I didn't have a video for... Friday, um, today is Wednesday, for reference, of the same week that I'm uploading this, so. Just wanted to do that. Hope you've enjoyed this, Internet. I already said that phrase. I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Bye! Yeah.